All right, onward to the next story mission then. This is one of those games where the more upgrades you get, the game becomes so much easier to control. Which is both kind of cool because you feel yourself getting more powerful as the game progresses. But it makes this early stuff feel really... You know, I'm not going to be uncharitable to the game and say clunky. Because this is 15 years old. Ah, the game's a little clunky. At least until I get more of the movement and stuff sorted out. Destroy mission, please. We have a target of opportunity. I've hacked a lab computer at a division research facility. Which is illegal? Very. I just tripped a failsafe so Blonsky knows I'm inside. He'll destroy the entire place before he allows the download to complete. You're asking me to run protection while you loot the network. Six or seven minutes, that's all I need. I like that clearly whoever recorded the lines for Bruce Banner and whoever recorded the lines for the other guy, uh, Bruce, Bruce's doctor, We're not in the same room. Because if, if you go back, if you listen back to that dialogue exchange, there was no rhythm to it. They obviously just cut paste where the dialogue is in response to the next chunk of dialogue. All right, here we go. Defend the building. Huh? Huh? You know, I really should have probably read. See the target. We got him now. What upgrades I gave myself? Because that's going to affect. Pretty heavily. How I'm able to progress. Going in, control. Oh. I've been for three more minutes. This, that must be another case of the game designer where they probably wrote the dialogue for the oh did they destroy the building did I mess up no stop it Stop it. Oh, why are they destroying property? What, what's, uh, what city are we in? Did they ever say what city we're in? Okay, defend for two more minutes. Ah. Uh, Oh, I see there's a little timer on the side there. Okay. Okay, I think the whole thing they're trying to teach me in the tutorial is that these steel fists will make quicker work of tanks. Yeah, sure enough. See, kids, this is why you pay attention during the tutorial. You don't just go in. Because even though you might feel dumb for a minute, you'll continue to look dumb if you don't follow it. Okay, okay, okay. There's some combination of buttons. I think nets me a better attack. Oh, okay, cool. He's upside down. Oh, no. 
And it, and it perfectly fell. It perfectly fell as to not affect the buildings to either side of it. Defend the Bio Research Center until download data download timer expires. Okay. So clearly, I need to reevaluate my strategy of just wandering. That didn't work too well. I need, I need a target. Give me a target. I'm gonna throw a tree at the target. There we go. Steel fists. And yeah, that's way better. It turns out the game about the Hulk requires a lot of, a lot of uh, real aggressive smashing techniques. Who would have thunk it? Oh, I thought. Going in. I thought they'd somehow already demolished it. So it's only certain moves that, yeah, an unarmed quote unquote Hulk can can damage tanks with. Of course, anyone seeking out this video is gonna already know that. Oh, I didn't know I had that move already. Cool. I think I'm in a worse spot than I was the first time. Okay. No. Breaking the tank with the other tank. Isn't there? A tank over here. Huh? Huh? Okay, now how do I use my like? No, that isn't how I use it. Um, there's a way to use that special, that meter up in, in the upper right corner. There's a way to use it, and because I wasn't paying attention during the tutorial, like a doofus, I don't know how to use it. Or maybe I don't have that unlocked. This is still a very early game. I may not have it unlocked. Uh, okay. 30 seconds to go. Now, if it looks like I'm bad at this game, it's because I'm bad at this game. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So I'm going to go back to the church because there was one upgrade that I was not able to get. And I believe that upgrade is probably that big super you'll you'll see when it gets when it gets bought what it'll look like. Oh, it sends me back here defaultly. Cool. Okay, so let's see here. Buy menu. What's the... Th yep. Yep, that's the superpower. And I don't have enough to buy it.
All right, so I'm gonna go do some of those side missions to get more points to get that uh, critical, what was it called, a critical atomic mass. Because that'll make that mission about 10,000 times easier. So let's do some side missions. Which normally that's how I play these kind of games. Is I play all the side missions. That I, by the time the main mission comes up, I am super overpowered. Like if I, when I play RPGs, I tend to take them very slowly within the main story arc because I keep getting distracted by every side mission. Use your club to hit soldiers as far as possible. All right. Seems a little uh, Geneva Convention violating to to continue to beat a man up with a bat for sport. Okay. Oh, oh I see. Okay. 200, 250, 285. So there's a timing to this. Alright. There we go. 2250, 300, 370. Let's. Okay, let's time it out. Door opens, charge up. Did I hit him at the top of the swing? 271. So what? Uh, so 400 is probably where gold lies. Okay. There we go. Oh, that looks promising. That looks good. Ah. Uh, and swing. So that's me holding it right as the door opens. I'm getting about the same. Thing. So what if I do it? Oops. Like that. That's definitely a, the worst way to do it. Oh, well. Whoops. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's the worst way to do it. Okay. Boop. Oh, look at that, he's not spinning or nothing. Is that gold? Did I get gold? Yes! And now we'll just swing away until the end of the mission. What a silly side mission. Like, I know this game isn't exactly going for the dark gritty thing, but, and that's silly. So I need what, 2,500, 25,000 to get that atomic upgrade. So I'm gonna just run around and grab as many of these side missions as it takes. And I will start being quiet during these loading screens so I can edit them out later. All right, next side mission. Which I shouldn't have to do too many more of them. I think these also net me. The comic books also net me points. Map. Where am I? I'm going that way. So if I hug the road, I'll be able to get that there. Look how big this And the draw distance is... The monkey! You can pick up the monkey. Yeah. Yeah, look how bouncy monkey is. Does it, uh, mm, I'm quite my thought there for a second. We now have guarded status in the contact zone. Prepare first response. There's, there's a mission later in the game, I believe, that revolves around those monkeys. Alright, jump off the building and use your left analog stick, left, 
To avoid obstacles, land at the center of the ring of fires. The mission ends when you touch the ground. All right, so let's see. Oh, I see with the monkey. Oh, I float with the monkey. Okay, so where's the ring of fires? That's right, monkey lets you float. Okay, ring of fires. This is some pilot wings stuff. Oh, no. Helicopter's out of my way. Out of my way, please. That's pretty good. Yeah, cool. New high score. Return to start mode. I doubt that was easy enough. Let's go to the next one, because I am just short of what I need. I might be misremembering, but I think you get eventually to the point in this game where the city is during the day, and that is much easier to see. There's my bonus mission. Alright. Find yellow cabs and carry them undamaged to their destination. Alright. Let's go. So grab the yellow cab. Cab cap. And, and I'm sure the game's gonna throw nothing in my way to make this at all any more difficult. Excuse me. Hey, where's the one you get? Does one you get on top of this building? Where's the one you drop this cab off at? Uh, Oh, I see. It's a relay race. Gotcha. Okay, okay. I see the game they're playing. Drop. There's Cab. Presumably this one. And these cabs totally have passengers in them. Because they were going the other direction. Although truthfully, you're probably relieved when the Hulk puts down your cab. Where am I dropping this cab off? Oh, right there. Next cab. Hi, folks. Uh, and we're flying as the whole. Okay. Drop it off there. Find the nearest cab. Uh, is this a cap? You are a cap. Oh, oh, okay. So the no, so no one's coming after me. So is the no damage thing? That's only bronze. Oh, I see. If I get extra time, every time I get to the next place. Ah, uh, so they're incentivizing you getting more quicker. So you can pick up more cabs to get more points to get. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. And Terra Song. Bye bye. Nearest yellow cab. Nearest yellow cab. Come on, yellow cabs. Where are the yellow cabs at? Look out. I'm not gonna make it. I only got bronze. No. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not doing that one again though. 
So next bonus mission. I'll oh, go this way. I'm close. I'm only like 2,000 points away from being able to buy that upgrade. So I'm guessing what one more usual bonus missions. Then I'm good to go. Where's the next one? I am where? I am there. Alright, so do I'll do a No, I don't have it. Yeah, I won't say anything. I won't spoil the surprise. Oh. But later in the game, there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with people's vehicles. Now, no sign of the hole. Civilians are trapped atop a burning building. Gently carry civilians, civilians to the ambulances before the building collapses. All right, let's rescue them civilians. Where are they at? Oh, they're right here. That's convenient. All right, civilians, where are you? To, to the ambulance. That isn't what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I don't think throwing them at the ambulances was the desired objective. Alright. Set down gently. I don't think there's a way to set them down gently. Am I getting any points for this? Pick up a civilian. Delivered to an ambulance. All right. Oh, oh, I'm going to restart the mission. Yeah, it turns out you're not supposed to violently throw them at the ambulance. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's try a much less um, civilian murdery approach to to this. What's the doing? Oh, come come on game. Game you gotta cooperate with me. Come on. Alright, person grabbed. Ambulance there. Deliver. Civilian. Why is everyone on? I guess if you're, if there's a fire, getting to the roof is probably your smartest choice. If it's on the lower floors, that's no. Anyone from a larger city where fires in large buildings happen. Is this what you would actually do? Oh, God. My, minus the Hulk, of course. So I'm betting I need at least five for bronze. Unless it doesn't tell me and I only get to know at the end. Oh, so I can run with them. That's good to know. Yep, five for bronze, probably ten for silver, fifteen for gold. Dang it. So every time I run, am I launching civilians off the top of the building? Because that's going to be unhelpful to my goals. And that's the case. And jump. Some Incredible Hulk, Ultimate Destruction, Speedrunner is looking at this and is very unhappy 
with the way I'm playing this game. Or not, maybe it makes them feel better about their speedrunning abilities. Again, not a speedrunner, I don't have the patience for that. To sit and learn a game back and forth in the way that those people have to. Nine, okay, I can get one more probably. But in the way those people have to learn those games in order to speed run them. Oh, I got four seconds. Civilian. Civilian. Oh, um, no. Well, that should be enough to get the upgrade at least. Yeah. Oh, but the building just... Isn't this the building I was just on that just collapsed? I guess there's no consequences. But I do have enough to get that upgrade, so let's go get that upgrade. This isn't a jump point, is it? No. There's my nearest jump point. Over there? Yes. So in in um infamous which I think is broadly inspired by this game. You don't have to grab the walls manually. There's my jump point. Here we go, and let's go get that upgrade. Alright, and I'm going to cut this video here. The stream happens every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. And when I when we get back, I will have the upgrade bot and we will be starting restarting. Would you please subscribe?